All right, now let's see. From there, die Tuesday, November, December 6th. Hello, you did child at home. Uh, let's see, we have the library coming up on Thursday. You're going to need your iPad because we're doing a lesson on coding. And then when is the idioms homework due? Friday. 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 So we have time. We're going to talk about it in a moment. Schedule I send out on Remind is for today. And then also again for Thursday. So just trying to help you out from that. You will be going from this period to... Fifth. Just making sure. So then that hopefully helps you guys out so you're not quite as confused. So, on your handout, find the poem that says uh, spider. Friday's quiz, you are going to have to read two poems on your own for that quiz. Oh. This is one of the two poems you have to read and understand. So if you want to mark it on there or however you want to do it, you're going to have to read it ahead of time. This is your before Friday homework. You're going to have to figure out what's going on in it, the similes, the metaphors, rhyme scheme, you know, those things that we've been doing. And then tomorrow, I will give you the second poem that you're going to have to know, which is about as long as that one, and hopefully that'll help you out. Hi, Preston. Uh, there's a copy of this on campus, right? Yes. Did you share part of that one off when you were having your issues? Yes, you are correct. Then, as far as the idioms homework goes, uh, it is not due until end of class on Friday, not because you have time in class to work on it, but because you get to use it on the quiz, because there will be idiom questions on there. So I figure at end of class you will give it to me before you get a chance to take off. Hopefully you have the notesy things on the back. Hopefully you've done this whole uh, reading directions thing. If you have yours, which you do because you just showed it to me, I can walk you through it real quick just to make sure you've done all the things correctly. One. You should have three complete sentences written in pen. Uh -huh. Complete sentence, complete sentence, complete sentence. Uh -huh. Meaning that you should have capital letters and punctuation. Uh -huh. You should also have a subject because most kids lose a point on here because they don't put this into a complete sentence. If you just put cost an arm and a leg, that's not a complete sentence. If you put break a leg, that's not a complete <laughs> sentence. So you have to make sure you have a subject in your sentence. <laughs> make sure you put some kind of subject. If you're not sure, you can do this magical thing called asking me, and then I can do this thing called helping you, and then learning will occur. Uh, make sure your figurative makes sense and is the correct figurative. Same thing with literal. Your picture should be in color. If you don't have access to colory things, you're always welcome to borrow them from me because I have colory pencils that you can borrow. You can also wait until Thursday when you have the NWA math and then you can come borrow them before math, and that's fine with me too. Um, color them in, and then directiony things from there. Um, as long as you follow directions, you probably should be okay. Questions as far as the idiom thing goes? Yeah. Uh, you are not turning it in on Canvas. You are just handing it to me. So there is no thing to find. It's just going to be a holding it in your hands and going, here you go. And I go, thank you. That's the way I get to hang them out in the hallway and then use them for the examples next year and stuff like that. Let's pick three kids to get points to help you out. And you're going to have a second chance to get points. Because at the end of class, we're going to do another thing to get points. Home children, we're going to pause for a second and be back to you soon. Don't come to last time. It's not going to be for the metaphor. Don't worry, there's nothing weird is happening. We're not going to talk about it. Did we get to have a Yeah. Sweet. So then, let's double check to make sure all the knowledge is in your brain so I can randomly ask kids questions about haiku, right? Yeah. So, I was in here. So, I wrote my last name. So we have Haiku Dragoo, yeah. who is familiar with Haiku, what? and I can ask you any question about uh, Haiku, yes. because you are on top of this, right? Dragoo? What? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds strong so far. Let's find out in a moment. Thanks. Let's begin with Grapple. Uh, how many lines is every Haiku going to be that's ever been made? So isn't it five? No, you're asking me. You're telling me. <laughs> oh, okay. It's five, seven, five. Wow. Not bad. Except I said how many lines? Oh, three. Okay. <laughs> Other than that part, you would nail it. Uh, so it's a total of three lines. And then let's see. Oh, there we go. Caleb, let's go with how many syllables in the first line? Three, five. <laughs> I said it. Three, 
was your final answer? Five. Okay. Second line? Seven. Third line? Five. There you go, wait. So then, hang on. Uh, dragu, how many total syllables is that? <coughs> That's math. Uh, 17? Good job. Are you asking me? 17? <laughs> I think that's still a question. Good, good job. Oh, uh, you're welcome. So 17. Oh, uh, Cora. Uh, since our haikus are really short, and only three lines total. Yeah, okay. Um, how many things should a haiku be about? Are you asking me? <laughs> Nicely done. They should only be about one thing. One point five. And of those, let's pick on Stephen. Um, that one thing that our haiku is about, what should the subject matter of that haiku be? Nature. Is correct, Stephen. So no, it's going to be about nature water. in some way. Did we go through and talk about the ways to practice the syllables? No. Okay. So, uh, well, I'm not talking to you, haiku. So with this one. With shooting pain in the back of my eyeball whenever this class starts. Uh, and so your different ways that you can count your syllables, uh, one, you do have your clapping monkey method, which apparently a lot of you guys got really excited about, is you're like, I'm a clapping monkey! Uh, and that's where you do the little clappy bits. Um, if you uh, have trouble figuring out, how, like you're trying to figure out a name, and if you're like, Cora, call, Cora, call, and you're having issues with it, what you can do is if you put hand underneath chin, every time your chin drops, that's a syllable in a word. And so you can count it and go, Cora called four, and you can get excited. Gussie line now word. And so you can figure out how many is going to be in it. The warning is, when you're doing it, your hand has to stay still, because if your hand pops at the same time, and you're like, no us have caught. 24! It doesn't work. So you have to make sure a hand stays and just <coughs> jaw drops. Eventually, we're going to get to the point where you can just use your hand and be like, I can count my syllables. I'm a big kid now. And you can go through and just count it that way. But for some of you, it may be a little bit before we get there. So there's example ones on your handout, but I have more fun example ones up here. So here's my first example one up here, where it says, Little piggies are rolling around in the mud, happy, dirty things. So you have, little piggies are rolling around in the mud, happy, dirty things. Five, seven, five, three lines, one subject, which is piggies. Piggies are not made by humans, they're eaten by humans. They're not made by humans, so they're it counts as nature. Other, but how do they Does it to always existence? have to be about nature? Well, yes and no. Officially, yes. But in a moment, I'm going to introduce you to a type of haiku that doesn't. Well, technology. Clocks? Clocks. Like tick, tick, tick? Yes. Like, okay. that's fine. That would not be nature. No. I know. Okay. But that's why you just really like clocks? Yeah. Cool. Uh, Likes those clocks. The haiku's already beginning. So I have another one. See. Whispers in the leaves, telling all nature's secrets. Autumn has arrived. So again, not about clocks, but three lines, five, seven, five. Our last one. Squirrels are in the trees. I can hear their chattering. Quick! Dodge the acorns. So all about nature, acorns. Is squirrels two syllables? Oh, let's find out. Squirrels. 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 Still, 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 still. I got it. There's 17 syllables. No, no, it's two. Here's the issue where some of you guys are going to like mispronounce things and go, Squirrels. So yeah, it's still just one. Squirrels. I don't know where it's down Who would have thought that would be your entertaining thing? Squirrels. Yeah, it's not squirrels. It's still just a squirrel. Squirrel. I hate squirrels. They're so annoying. I know, like kids all over the. So what I'm going to do now is I have a couple of broken haiku, and we're going to see if you can figure out what is broken in this haiku. It says rocks are really hard. They are used to hold down grass. Some are just brown. Why is my haiku broken? Wow. Well, and we'll go with. Because the last it's missing one, one syllable. syllable. Which line? Middle. The last, last one. one. So then, does anyone feel brave enough to 
fix it. Some, no. some are bright. Just, just. Some, some are just light brown. That would work. I would count that. Yeah. Fish toes? Some are oldly brown. That would work. Shawls? Some are just brown, yay. <laughs> Technically, yes, but it feels very globetrottery to have to throw in a word at the end because your count is off, which we're going to get to in a moment, but technically, globetrotter, yeah. that works. All right, let's give you another one. The dogs are jumping. <gasps> Look, a tree is over there. I just saw fish. Do you just know me? What's our issue on this one? That's not the same thing. It's not the same Two main different topics. I got it right. It's the same thing. And cell phones are so cool. I love texting all my friends. Read my words, people! Wait, I don't know. It's not the same thing. And it is. It's no more nature, Mr. Novak. I knew that because. I know they're doing way too much. <laughs> no, they're on trees. Your only takeaway so far today is that you know what a cell phone is. I am trying to do it. I'm a So, haiku, I enjoy, because I get to you. Try your best. Those kids keep talking. Can you see their points are gone? There are, wait, they are sad children. <laughs> Look at that. And so I'm going to introduce you to a thing that are called battle haiku. And the way battle haiku works is it's one of the few that don't have to be about nature. Noah is sassy. He tried to attack teacher. Bad child. You are bad. So here is... We're going to give you a chance to earn B points if you feel strong with your battle haiku game. You have to write your haiku down, but then if you can be strong with it and then stand and present it, you can get two B points. Unless you mess it up, then you only get one B point because at least then you're still brave enough to attack. You are welcome to attack any adult that you want to or any sibling that lives in your house or any famous person. As long as they are a sibling from your house, a famous person, or an adult, you get a chance to attack them. Home children, here's where we stop, because we're going to give them a chance to uh, attack people. Oh, by the way, if you're trying to use me, my name is five syllables, so that makes it easy. Mr. Broviac. It's me. Now, in case you need more syllables with for your attacking, you could shorten it to Mr. B, or just Brovi, or just... B. If you're, <laughs> or broadly. Some of you may need lots of syllables for your attacking. Or, if you have no evil in your heart, because some of you in here are like, Mr. Proviac, there's like poor Jada. She can't think of anything mean or evil to come up with. You can instead do like a happy haiku, I guess. But it's not quite what I would be going for. But if that's what you feel you need to do, I can accept it. Home children, we're done with you now. Go figure out your haiku.